Hey there guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna take a look at this 11.6 inch two-in-one convertible notebook from Gateway. All right, so Black Friday and Cyber Monday are coming up and uh, you're gonna start to see a lot of laptop deals out there. This was only $129 from Walmart. Um, so I had to check this out. I had to see what this is all about. Um, this is an ARM-based laptop. So this has a Snapdragon uh, 7C processor, 64 gigs EMMC storage, four gigs of RAM, not the greatest specs, but I was really interested more so in this, but also the price. And if you guys remember Gateway of years past, it has the uh, Moo Cow design. If we remember the old Gateway logo and old Gateway computers, I just, uh, that's just wild. So let's go ahead and unbox this and see what comes inside. So in the box, you get a little uh, box on top, our uh, charging block, we have USB-C to USB-C cable, and a stylus. We've got our documentation included and our laptop. Taking a quick look at the exterior, you can see uh, we have a gateway logo here. Uh, we have a power and a Wi-Fi LED. And here is our camera that swivels around. On the bottom of the laptop, we have some information about the laptop itself. We do have a Windows sticker and a Qualcomm Snapdragon sticker, as well as our two speakers and four rubber feet. Taking a look at I.O. on the right hand side, we do have a USB and Ethernet and these are covered with port covers. And as you can see, that is a full size Ethernet and looks like a just traditional USB 2. And on the left hand side, we have a little bit more. So we do have our USB-C for charging, HDMI, SD card slot, headphone jack, as well as a SIM card tray. These are also covered by a port cover. Uh, and there you go. You can see those there. And taking a look at the inside, you can see we do have our camera. We have our 11.6 inch HD display. This is IPS. And we also have our stylus housed in a little uh, garage, as they call it, power button. We have our keyboard with a blue inlay and our tiny trackpad here with gateway branding. Now this laptop is a convertible laptop, so that means that the display does go all the way down and it can convert into a tablet like so. Now, out of the box, this laptop does come with Windows 10. This is the ARM version. However, it can be upgraded to Windows 11. It does say on the box it comes in S mode. However, I noticed that if you do uh, log in with a local account, it is in traditional Windows mode and you can download applications as you normally would. We do have a 64 gig EMMC hard drive. So as you can see, we only have 21 gigs free out of 56.7 uh, gigs. That is with uh, one or two applications installed by me, but not very much room for expandability here. In addition to the lower storage, we also have lower RAM. So four gigs of RAM is included. I really feel like um, that is uh, an amount that we need to get rid of. I think eight gigs should be the standard. And as you can see that we're running at idle with nothing running and we're using 67% uh, of our RAM, uh, which absolutely sucks. So you'll be only using one to two applications maybe at a time uh, with this laptop. Now, as this is a budget laptop, you will have a little bit of bloatware on here. Uh, so we do have Forge of Empires, which is an online game. Uh, we also have uh, Kidomi and Simple Solitaire. So they do have a couple of games here. Uh, not a whole bunch included. Uh, I've downloaded a benchmark, but that's pretty much it. Um, but you could definitely remove some of these applications and get some of that storage back. And take a look at some of the features of this laptop. We do have that swiveling camera, as I mentioned. So as you can see, we have a lens here and there is a blue LED that shows up and it swivels like so. It is a two megapixel camera. And here is a look at the quality of the camera. It's not going to be the greatest, but it will do in a pinch. And honestly, I've seen worse on even higher end laptops. But as you can see, um, it only goes down so far and then it does spin right all the way around like so. So I'm not sure why you would need to use that other than if you are trying to uh, get a better angle, but it's there. And just taking a quick look at the pen that's included. Uh, it does have two different buttons on here. I believe it's just a left and right click. Uh, you can hover over the screen. And then I believe the right click, you can just tap on if there's a right click menu, it'll come up. It does have palm rejection on it, so it will not uh, do anything if you put your palm down and you want to take notes on here, you can. It's not going to have super great latency like an iPad or something like that, but it should do the job. So that's pretty nice that it's included. And again, it runs off a AAA battery. So as long as that lasts, uh, this will do just fine. 
And whenever you're done with the pen, you can just place it right back there and it will stay, so it'll stay put. And you can just push down here to get it out. And in the description for this, it does say it's shockproof and water resistant. And just taking a look at it, you kind of get that idea. Um, I'm not gonna test either of those things, but you can definitely see we've got thick bezels. We've kind of got this interesting plastic. It doesn't feel creaky or cheap. Uh, so that kind of lends you to believe it might be a little bit tougher than a traditional uh, cheap laptop. And in addition to that, on the side, we have uh, covers for the ports. So they're definitely gonna be well protected. And one little hidden gem on this laptop, it does have a handle. Uh, so you can carry this around with you. But it definitely reminds me of just one of those old toy laptops from uh, when I was a kid. In addition to the other capabilities of this laptop, it also has a SIM card slot. And while even though my SIM card that I just tried in here will not work without me changing the APN, it still shows up in here. So it's kind of cool that if you are without Wi-Fi, it will swap over to LTE. There's no 5G here and you can have a constant connection. And I'm not gonna run a bunch of benchmarks on this laptop, uh, just because we already know it's a low spec machine. You have to keep in mind that a Snapdragon processor is going to be a phone processor, so uh, it'll run about as fast as a phone will. Uh, so the CPU score that we got is 532 single core and 1570 multi-core. And just for reference, my main desktop has a Ryzen 3 chip, which is lower end on the Ryzen side, and it got a 1328 single core and a 4582 on the multi-core. So uh, definitely low specs, but should run just fine on this laptop. Now this laptop does have stereo speakers. They are placed underneath uh, the laptop and they don't sound the greatest, but here's a quick sample with a Mr. Beast video. This is a video of the best workers on the planet, the best. Like this guy. We do have some volume controls here. And here it is in tablet mode, and you can see it is buffering, and it really has a tough time with uh, with watching video. This is trying in 1080p, so 720p should be just fine with it, though. And one of the other perks of these ARM-based laptops is the battery life. So because it's using a cell phone chip in a laptop, it should run a really, really long time. I got this with 80% uh, in the box, and it's probably been on for about two or three hours so far with uh, some usage in between. And as you can see, with 55%, we have four hours and 57 minutes remaining, so that's really not bad. So these are going to be battery champs. Now, while I think this is a solid deal for this laptop because it does include, again, a touchscreen, a stylus, has this tough outer casing, has the port covers, water resistance, shock resistance, uh, it has LTE capability. This one I got is a dud, and I'll show you why. Now, unfortunately, the keyboard, not all of our keys work. So as you can see here, uh, I'm typing the I key, the O key, the P key actually is doing uh, the asterisk. So it looks like the majority of the keys on the right-hand side are not working. Now, that's not to say that, that you will get a dud if you buy this laptop, but that's just something to be aware of. Um, even though this is pretty decent, out of the box, it has a severe problem with the keyboard, and this is after updating Windows and updating all the drivers. All right, so there you guys have it, a quick unboxing and look at this laptop from Gateway. Uh, this is an 11.6 inch two-in-one convertible. Now for $130, I'd say this is definitely worth it. Unfortunately, the one I have here is defective because the keyboard is working sporadically, uh, so this one will definitely be going back. But for the money, it's not bad. Now, unfortunately, it is not upgradable, so you cannot change, you cannot add memory or add storage to this, so uh, you'll be kind of limited by that. And four gigs in 2022 is not great. So this is great for basic usage. If you needed a uh, laptop for your young child or you needed uh, just for classwork or you need a laptop to take with you for basic tasks, this will be great. Um, but anything else, it's really not gonna be worth it. Um, you can draw with it, you can use it as a tablet. Uh, it's got quite a few functions and it seems to be pretty tough as well. Again, I'm not gonna test that. But if you're interested in this, I'll leave a link down below where you can check this out. Any questions or comments on it, feel free to leave them down below and I'll see you guys in the next video.